ish. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said. But it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks like, or looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Raymond looked closer. And then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, and sun-ish. Raymond realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Raymond lived ishly ever after. Oftentimes, we get frustrated when things don't work out the way that we expect them to or we might have envisioned in our head. But if we think like Raymond and think it's okay to give my best go and to try my personal best and the result I should be happy and satisfied with because I did my personal best, that we will be living a happier life. So I want you to think about what is the growth mindset um, stance that we're focusing on today and can you see that in your own life and when you run into problems?